Welcome to Big Datapedia. So today we are going to discuss how to read the data from MySQL Server via Spark. That's we are going to see it now. So in this prerequisite text, we will be using this software MS SQL Server version 18.4, Java as 1.8, and driver class as a SQL JDBC 41.ja, and SSMS JDBC driver MS SQL. JDBC 7.2.2 JRE 8 JAWS. So this last two JAWS you have to in upload into your Spark library. Then you can do all the operation normal. Let's we will be see with hands-on demo today. First, I just trying to connect. This is my SQL Server, the local SQL Server. I'm using SQL Server authentication, username and password. Both will be same. So I just connected. And I already have a table is called a demo database and in that database I have a table whose name is called test table so select star from so, okay first I have to select demo database and then test so I can retrieve a few records here from the SQL server the same thing we are going to achieve via spark right now so let me go into this my Ubuntu VM there I just going to sh show that libraries so here you can see SQL JDBC 41 jar that I have uploaded as well as MS SQL JDBC 7.2.2 JRE jar that I also have uploaded and make sure you have to make that connector as a driver in installation in your windows that's an important so both will be installed so I just go to the top and going to start my spice park right now I'm using Python 3.6 version and 2.4.4 I'm using for Spark. Okay, so just I am including the servers. Before that, we have to check this IP configuration. So this is 192.168.1.186. So first I will be creating it SQL URL JDBC is normal SQL server if it is a MySQL we will be go with MySQL like that and then you need to provide host name 192 192.168.1.186 and port number for default is 1433 for SQL Server and then instance name instance name we will get from here just go you will get all the details from here itself just copy this is the instance name and then database name database name we know well that is demo and use ntlmb that is for, uh, this is for not with, without Windows authentication you will be go with the SQL Server authentication so that is this is called as a TNT user so those authentication you have to enable as true that's it okay SQL Server is properly set and then table name table 
test table URL table and then username and password SSMS user password as well SSMS user both will be the same I'm using so right now I just provide all the information properly I'm going to create a data frame right now spark dot read dot format so JDBC connection that will be used so you just mention as a JDBC dot op option and you can provide the URL as SQL URL and then option URL then driver com dot Microsoft SQL server JDBC com dot Microsoft SQL server JDBC and then caps SQL S caps server driver so this is the driver name you have to use it and then you can mention with option as DB table and then you can provide your table name as a table and then option user as user whatever you will be provided here and then option password as PWD and finally you have to load the data that's it so here you can clear spot read format JDBC option as a URL and drivers which driver that you are going to locate now and then table name as well you just mentioning with the username and password and finally you just kick start to load it now it's loading I guess okay so you just go and see that that's it now you can load the data from SQL server I am trying to remove this record right now and we will see the output okay I'm just going to execute again so only eight records is visible right now just going to say it again okay now this is properly interact with our SQL server database and fetching those data okay thank you next session we'll go with a different answer and we'll get back to you and please provide your comments in our feedback anything in below that will help us bye bye